In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CSS visibility hidden declaration to hide certain things on your pages. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. Now you've probably already familiar with the display none property, and that makes things disappear completely, whereas visibility hidden allows you to keep that space consumed. It just makes the content disappear. So I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make this image disappear right here. And we're gonna go select the image, open and close the curly brackets and display none, which is the one you're probably already familiar with and see what happens. So the image is gone, the div moves up and presto, done. But with visibility hidden, what happens? I'm just gonna bring the image back. Visibility hidden. What's gonna happen is the image is gonna disappear, but the div's not gonna move. So the image area space is still gonna be consumed, but the image won't be seen. And there you have it, visibility hidden makes an element disappear, but keeps that space consumed. And that's how easy it is to use the CSS visibility declaration. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.